Hey love, so yes, you've seen the title. This is the Magic Lace Front Wig, and it is the Senegal Twist Big Braid Twist Wig, which is by Newborn Free. I decided to give this a try. So the wig is a little heavy, I will tell you that, but I like the construction of the inside of the cap, mesh netting, combs, and it has like that monofill parting system, like that fake skin. It's kind of grayish or brownish, the scalp, so I'm going to put some of my concealer this one concealer is by beauty treats and I went ahead and gave it a little makeover right there in a the scalp area because you guys know my scalp is a little bit light so these braids are really constructed well and I'm like hmm at first I was like I am not gonna try this out because I've seen like the actual pictures on the models and I wasn't really impressed so I decided what I was gonna do to make this look as natural as possible and as realistic as possible because I don't want to go outside looking like I'm Iman Bob Marley I decided to untwist the very first row of the wig so as you see me right here I'm untwisting a braid and I'm going to actually go ahead and blend it in with my own natural hair in the front perimeter so that way it looks as close as possible as if I went to the salon or did it myself some twist in my hair so what you want to do when you're taking those twists out, you could just untwist it. You don't have to comb the hair out, just untwist it, and you're going to go ahead and attach your hair. Just like you would, like if it was a box braid or an extension, but this is part of the wig. When you're twisting it to make the twist tight and stay, you want to twist the hair, but you want to kind of like twist the hair for each braid. So you're not just like twisting um, your, kind of like for each braid, I was kind of like twisting each hair, kind of like. So I really don't know how to explain that, but... As the hair is in each finger, I'm actually twisting each braid and wrapping it around. Twisting it or kind of like twirling it, entwining it and wrapping it around. That what makes the braid actually stay and it gives a good hold. It doesn't unravel. So I went ahead and did that for the entire front row of the wig. Um, yeah, I guess I'll be sleeping with this wig on because I'm not going to want to take it off. And I actually have. I've actually slept with it for two days now. So this video is a couple days old. But it's really holding up really well. I like the fact that you don't have to sit in the hair salon or in your own home and take hours and hours to get it done. So I went ahead and I did the entire first roll off camera um, on the other side of my head. And I'm going to use some of my Topic Keratin Filler Fibers to make my edges look a little bit thicker. And besides that, if you want, you can wear this wig in different styles. This is like a great protective style, but a really easy go style. Because for someone like me who wants to change up their look all the time, I would really rock like this kind of wig because I can't be committed to braids for too long. Um, so yeah, I went ahead and put some gel or some gl hair glaze on my sides because I wanted a little bit of baby hairs to swoop in with this. But I think the best thing with this unit is to make it look as natural as possible is to just undo the first row and attach it to your hair. So I'm just going to show you some different styles that you can do with this unit besides wear it down. And I went ahead and put in like a high half bun. I'm just going to take the hair and twist it and wrap it around on each side. And you can use some bobby pins to hold it down or you can tuck it in place. And that's just like the high-low bun with your synagogue twist. Okay, you guys. So, I finally styled this unit. I really didn't know what I was going to do with this because it's a Senegalese or Senegalese, Senegalese twist. Um, and it's made into a wig. So, I wanted to make it look as natural as possible on my head besides just rocking it. Like, you know, pulling out some baby hairs and all of that. I wanted to make it look like, okay, she done went and got some braids, okay? Mmm, some braids in her hair. If you take some of your own hair out around the perimeter and just untwist the braid and then twist it back with your hair, it will actually look like you went ahead and got some twists done, some braids done. Um, if you don't do that, then it's going to really probably look like it's sitting on your head. It's just a wig. The wig is like super cute. It's long. 
it's really cute but i think it's only cute unless you're taking some of your own natural hair out and making it look like it is actual braids i now, do think that some of their twists like at the roots could be a little bit tighter so what you would want to do if that's just me because i'm so picky is i would probably tighten them up a little bit once you are tired of the actual twist if you untwist the whole wig you've got yourself a nice curly unit she's super affordable she's really easy to rock reminds me of like that poetic justice but within a twist version mm -hmm. not tell me that i got a wig on i wish somebody would they would never know because bam right there in your face okay and what i'm talking about is like my scalpage my hairline you see my hair so it looks like it's some braids going so check out sisterwigs.com they have another version of this by different brands but this one here is the magic lace by newborn free and as always let me know what you think stay diva and divalicious and i'll be back soon on my next video or i'll see you guys soon on my next video <laughs> bye